Hi, my name's Leon Hill from Viking Cruises. Hi, my name is Camille Moore and I work with the APT Travel Group. My name is Mitch Spencer and I'm the Global Account Manager for the Globus family of brands. Hi, um, I'm Tammy, I work for Flat Centre Travel Group. My favourite cruise memory would have to be cruising down the Rhine in December 2019. It was our Avalon Christmas Markets cruise. Um, left from Amsterdam and finished in Basel, but every town you stopped in on the way, it was just a Christmas wonderland. And you didn't know what each town was gonna um, put in front of you, but every single town threw up something different and it was truly amazing. My favorite cruise memory is just happened. I've just got back off of a European river cruise and on that cruise, we had the chance to go to Namadi Castle, owned by Princess Heidi, and I got to meet her, and she was just so amazing, welcoming us into her home, making us feel sort of like we were her personal friends, and that just was such a highlight for me. Who is River Cruising for and why should someone choose this type of cruise? I think River Cruising is for everybody. Um, I've been fortunate enough to River Cruise and loved it. Um, there was a variety of demographic across the, across the ship, um, ranging from honeymooners up to retirees um, and people who had done their 8th, 10th or 12th River Cruise. So I think it ticks a lot of boxes because the great thing is you get on board, you unpack once um, and you wake up almost in a different port every single morning for a new city to explore. River cruising really is for everyone. Um, I did a river cruise a few years ago and I was really surprised how much I enjoyed it. Generally, we think river cruise and potentially um, that's for my mum and dad, um, but it was a great experience. I got to see places that I wouldn't normally get to see. And in Europe in particular, rather than doing a tour where you're lugging your bag up a suitca uh, suitcase up a hotel every night and sitting on a bus, this way we were cruising at night and getting off and stopping and doing things like taking a bike and riding through the village. So for me, I think it's really unutilized um, for younger travelers. And I think it's a great add on to any Europe experience. I think the most important thing when booking a cruise is really understanding what you're looking for out of that cruise. So for with Viking passengers, you know, we have no kids, no casinos. We focus on destination traveling. So we really are sort of targeting that thinking person's cruiser. If people are booking a river cruise for the first time, it's important not to just look for the cheapest price. It's important to look for value for money. So making sure that the destinations or the stops along the way are places that they want to visit, but also checking to see if the tips included not just on the ship, but for their local guides as well. Also checking to make sure um, that they have a, all the most important sites included. Because a lot of times with river cruises, some of the river cruises stop at different places but don't include touring. It's really just like a transportation from point A to point B. So with our Travel Marvel brand, we always make sure that at each destination, the most important or the, the actual tour that most people that go to Europe for the first time want to see or do is included. Yeah, so Viking's been really focused on making sure that in a post-COVID world, we're keeping our passengers extremely safe. We were the first company to stop operations when COVID was first announced. And during that time, we actually installed full-scale PCR laboratories on each one of our ocean ships. We also have full balconies as your entry level cabin. So every single passenger gets a balcony, which means no inside cabins. What Avalon's doing to keep passengers safe is a number of things. Um, depending what country we're in, we obviously abide by those requirements and restrictions. But the great thing is you've got a cruise director on board who takes care of all of that for you. So you haven't got to worry about, oh, I'm in Germany today or in France tomorrow. Uh, the cruise director takes care of all of that for you. So you've got someone at the, at the door of the ship, at the, at the front desk there, navigating whatever that you need to navigate to, to tackle any restrictions that may be um, maybe there at the time. Luxury cruising differs from other cruising in that it's more personalized experience. So generally the ships are smaller. Um, you'll often stay in port for longer periods of time. The service is more one-on-one -on -one, um, and more inclusive. So generally all your drinks are included, specialty restaurants, Wi-Fi, and often even shore excursions. What does luxury river cruising look like and what 
can passengers expect? Well, for us, it starts as soon as you walk on board with Avalon, because um, we, we live by the mantra of relax luxury, where just about everything's included. You rarely put your hand in your pocket. From the moment you step into your stateroom to the moment you get to dinner, um, to breakfast or to lunch, or to step on to the coach to go to your optional excursion, everything has that relaxed feel and your Avalon uh, cruise director um, and staff are all there to make that experience extra special for you. Some of the most popular river cruise itineraries is definitely Amsterdam to Budapest. Now, what we found during COVID though, or post COVID, is that people are really looking at extending onto that. So you can actually go now from Amsterdam to Bucharest, um, which is 23 days instead of 15 days. And we're finding that there's been a huge uptake in that, just with people wanting to spend a little bit more time away. If you're looking at booking river cruise, my best tip would be to book early. Um, I think with travel on a huge resurgence at the moment, I think it's important to, to get in quick. Also definitely do your research on um, the cruise line you'd like to go with. Um, and also definitely make sure you check out the cabins because you do spend a fair bit of time in your cabin and you wanna make sure that it's exactly what you're looking for. With Avalon, our beds face the views. Um, our cabins have been designed that way so you can encompass the view and bring the view in to your room. Um, and I think that's a really crucial part for us and it's something that all our guests rave about.